Good evening, or good morning, wherever you are. Today, I'm, 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 John loves music. <laughs> anyway, today I want to be talking about a tragic anniversary that just occurred, and it's of the 23rd anniversary of the Columbine mass shooting. And I wanted to go into, I've known about this mass shooting for a few years, and I like music too, so, and I heard that... The first thing they ever did, the news did, was blame music. And I like going over cases that... And I like reading cases where music is blamed for tragedies. Because it makes me laugh. Because, like, they blame everything else but the actual gunman in the shooting. You know? So, what happened was this guy called Marilyn Manson, he's really popular. Very popular. So, what happened was when he... He got his start in career in the late 90s or mid 90s. And I've heard, I've listened to a few of his songs, especially his cover with Sweet Dreams Are Made of These. Um, and it's very alternative or whatever you want to call it. It's very edgy, emo, very different for the time. You know, basically the Billie Eilish of the 1990s or whatever you want to call it. You know, he's just an underground artist. You know, it's very creepy and stuff. But the first thing that the mass media did was was blame, not the shooters, Dylan Klebold and Eric Harris, but they blamed Marilyn Manson because his music was a bit, you know, not normal, you know. So... Yeah, it's very sad that people are blaming music for tragedies. Of course, some of his songs are very edgy and stuff. So, and they blame Ozzy Osbourne for because he literally has a song called Suicide Solution and stuff. And he's pretty edgy too, but I actually like him, especially his song Crazy Train. Rock on, bro. But they, he was also blamed for a suicide that a young a young boy I think committed suicide. He's probably younger than me I think, because I'm 17. So I think he was like 13 or 14. So a few years younger than me. But yeah, I don't think it's right to blame the music. You know, sure, music could um give it could influence you. And if you listen to negative music. You're probably going to think more negatively, but it's not the sole cause for depression and mass shootings. I can tell you what is. You know, a few years ago when I was being harassed in school, I used to lash out at the bullies and used to say, tell them how much that I wanted to do things to them. And of course, I've been kicked out of school ever since, so yeah... Not great, not a great day for me. But what I think is going on is people see on the news that people, they actually name the gunman. And sure, I named the gunman in the Columbine shooting because everybody knows their name. So it's no point in me hiding it. So, yeah. People think that, oh, I'll be uh, famous. And I'll be, or infamous rather, well, well, their thinking is, if they're booing or cheering, they're doing something. So, yeah, that kind of makes sense. If they're booing or cheering, they're still doing something. At least they're, they know who you are. So, they know that they'll be covered on the news and the news will go into their life. Because I've seen it a million times with Adam Lanza, Columbine, San- the Sandy Hook shooter, Adam Lanza. And those are just a few examples. Nicholas Cruz, the Parkland shooter. The media does it every time. So that's why I think mass shootings occur. Because people want to be known about. And they see how famous people get on the media. So anyway, don't blame music. And yeah, Marilyn Manson, I'm sorry you were blamed for the Columbine shooting. And Ozzy Osbourne, I'm sorry that you were blamed for a suicide. Both of you are pretty cool. I love y'all. Peace out, my guys.